we now return to Generalized Hospital. Oh, good afternoon, Doctor. Well, hello, Mr. Mark. What are you here for today? Just a yearly checkup. Well, hop up on the table and I'll check your blood pressure. So are you uh, staying active? Well, yeah, I go to the gym three times a week and I... Uh... Holy cats! According to your blood pressure, you should be dead. Is it high? It's off the charts. You better lie back and start deep breathing the exercises before your heart explodes right out of your chest. Really? Because uh, I feel fine. Oh no, maybe you're having a stroke right now. No, I, I feel pretty good. Don't tell me how you feel. I'm a doctor. I know a dying man when I see one. Well, what's wrong with me then? We won't know that until we've run some tests. Nurse, schedule Mr. Mark for an x-ray, an MRI. Uh, wait a minute. You do have insurance, don't you? Yes. Good. The MRI, a CAT scan, a cholesterol screening, a colonoscopy, and a pap smear. I don't think I need a pap smear. Well, it's covered by your insurance, so what do you care? It just seems wasteful to do unnecessary testing. Well, if I get paid to do it, then it's not unnecessary, right? Well, how long is this going to take? I mean, I I'm leaving for an important business trip in a few hours. Nope, cancel it. I'm checking you into the intensive care ward for a week. Well, how much is this going to cost? You mean the testing and treatment? No, just, just the room. Just the room is two grand a day. Two thousand a day? I can get a high roller suite in Vegas for less than two thousand a day. Well, your insurance will pay for it, so don't worry about it. Well, it just doesn't seem right. Look, have you ever wondered why insurance costs are so ridiculously high? Yes, actually. It's because we charge several times what all this stuff really costs. But that's not fair. Well, don't worry. The insurance company makes a tidy profit from the kickback as well. So is this why America is the only industrialized country without universal health care? Universal health care. That's socialism. How is anyone going to make a huge profit from that? All right, I'm starting you off on this new drug called Expensor. It's $100 a pill, but it'll keep your heart from exploding. Are there any side effects? Just a few. Migraines, kidney failure, sepsis, cancer, complete loss of sexual drive. What? Well, don't worry. I can prescribe other pills to counteract those side effects, and more pills to counteract the side effects of those pills. Why don't you just focus on finding a cure? Silly man. The goal of modern medicine is not to cure people. We are here to create long-term customers for the pharmaceutical industry. Uh, this whole thing seems like a scam. Well, maybe, but it's all covered by your insurance, so you shouldn't care about the costs. What about the millions of Americans who don't have any health insurance? Well, to hell with them. I'm not going to treat those bums. But you have insurance, so I promise to do all I can to treat your illness for years and years. Or at least until I make enough money to buy a mansion in Brazil, and then I'm out of here. My god. What now? Your blood pressure has just skyrocketed again over the last two minutes. Because I'm getting pretty pissed at how bullshit our healthcare system really is. Oh, I'm sure you'll calm down once we insert this urinary catheter. A what? Ooh! All right, nurse, you can take over from here. I've got to go check my pharmaceutical stock shares. Mm -hmm.